Welcome to Solutions Studio. This is a free series on C programming language. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with this series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this series. Every variable has a name and it has a type and it also has a value. And in here, when the scanf receives the value from the user, it replaces the initial value of integer 0 with the new value that it received from the user. And it stores it in memory. The same goes to the integer 2. The user enters a number. The initial value of 0 is replaced with the new value that the user entered. Whenever a variable is assigned a new value, the old value is destructed and destroyed and replaced by the new value. Let's try this out. For example, in here I want to give integer a value of 0 after it has received a value from the user. In here, the user has entered a value, but I have destructed that value by assigning integer 1 a new value. Now let's go and try this out. The first number is going to be 23. The second number is going to 23. And now the sum is still 23. Because in here, when the program received the number from the user, I replaced it with a zero. The same goes in here. Initially, Sam has a value of 0, but later on the value of 0 is replaced by the calculation of these two numbers. Note in here that when we use integer 1 and integer 2 for calculation, the original values will still be there and it will not disappear. Only the assignment operator can destruct the original value of a variable. That's it for this episode. I hope to see you in the next episode. Make sure to remove these additional codes from your file.